Okay, this should go pretty quick. There's been a ton of activity in the Pilot Flying J DC Fast Charger build project. Several sites have opened, four sites have opened, several new sites have been spotted under construction. They've just definitely started to pick up the pace. However, the price has increased a little bit and there's a lot of changing of prices throughout the network. It does seem like every time they change the price, they change it by a nickel. Uh, for instance, Castleton on Hudson, New York was at 81 cents. It's now at 86, so it's back up to 86. We have a new low price of 45 cents per kilowatt hour at Core Deal, Georgia, which I believe is right down here. The new average price is 63.095 cents per kilowatt hour. The new locations that have opened, there's one here in Ohio called Hubbard, but it's not on the Pilot Flying J map yet, but you can see it in EVgo. It just opened tonight. And normally it takes Pilot Flying J about 24 hours to update their map, sometimes about 12 hours. The other one is Marengo, Ohio. Um, there's a new one in Benton, Arkansas. And a fourth one right here in Georgia on Interstate 85. I stopped by there in order to do a site visit video, which I'll link down below in the description. This is the map of coming soon locations. And two new ones have been spotted. One here in West George, Texas. And the other one escapes me. I can't remember. Um, we'll find it down here in just a second. This is the... Um, Proposed locations that will be completed by the end of 2024, which there's 29 weeks left, 158 left to open. We're currently at 42 open, which is about 5.5 per week. So we're kind of getting into long shot territory, but they're still picking up the pace. So I'm not going to count them out yet. But this is what 200 sites looks like. This map looks like about 250. You have to look at just the white pin drops. The yellow and blue ones don't count. Uh, so that's about 250, but their goal is 500. And... 500 locations right now we're at 8.4 percent complete so if you look at this map this is 200 so basically when we're completed it'll be double this amount uh, sometime in the next uh, three or four years i believe is what they were saying um, i think in 2027 was their initial goal i think i remember hearing that regardless <clears throat> progress is definitely being made they update the internet interstate signage as well so when you're getting off an exit you can see ev charging um, at locations where they complete this 8.4 percent of the 500 these are the locations that are currently open we have 42 sites open 21 of them are pilot and a nice even 21 are flying j these tables are sorted north to south in time zone the two new one or there's three new ones in the eastern time zone hubbard ohio and Marengo, Ohio, 56 cents and 67 cents respectively. Both have canopies. Marengo, Ohio received NEVI funds. So um, one did, one didn't, but both have canopies. And the pricing is fairly reasonable. It's not too excessive. The other one is Carnesville, Georgia. This is the site that I did a site visit video for that I'll link down below in the description. It is 52 cents per kilowatt hour. I didn't mind charging up there at all. It really wasn't that expensive. And then zipped on interstate 85 back home i actually live not too far from interstate 85 here in north carolina i'm going to pause here in each one of the time zones in order for people to do a screen capture if necessary this is open in the eastern time zone scroll down a little bit sorted north to south central time zone sorted north to south the new one is benton arkansas first spotted by jim o'connell he notified me uh, it was on the EVgo app. It was not on the Pilot Flying J app yet. And so he definitely gets credit for his uh, first spot there. The cost is 69 cents per kilowatt hour, which I think is kind of expensive for Arkansas. But regardless, that's what the initial price is. And then open in the mountain time zones and Pacific time zones. You can see we're very East Coast and middle of the country centric right now. Spotted under construction has dropped to 38 because they've opened four sites. So sites, it was up to 42 and then it went down to 38 because they opened four sites. Um, the new ones, I'm going to go through and pause in each one of these time zones so people can see if there's any near them. Again, sorted north to south by time zone. This is the eastern time zone. Winchester, Virginia, I think is very close to being finished. I don't have final confirmation on that. Whoops, this one we got to delete. 
I already took it out of the totals, but I didn't delete the row. Okay. You can see a lot of Nebby sites in Ohio getting ready to come online. Central time zone, we have two. Mount Eagle, Tennessee. It's in southern Tennessee near Georgia and West George, Texas, southeast of San Antonio. Mountains and Pacific time zones. We have three in the mountain time zones and one in the Pacific time zone. Uh, there are site designs, which I've gone over before. I'm not gonna belabor the point, uh, but I'll just scroll through here real quick. Extension of the gas canopies. A lot of people say that there's not enough space in these locations, but what they do is, in, if they're really tight, they just extend the gas canopy a little bit, and then they put in their chargers right underneath there, and there's some examples of that. So I've got a, a slide deck of all the canopy locations, both spotted under construction and already open, which I'm going to roll immediately after this video. I appreciate everyone watching. I hope you enjoyed this video.